Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel, if you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia and if you are new here make sure you hit the subscribe button, join the growing family, turn notifications on so you never miss a video and while you're down there give me a thumbs up because it really does help me out. And while I've got your attention I wanted to say that I do in fact have a Patreon where I post one video a week of an exclusive video and that's going to start in December so if you become a Patreon now you are guaranteed to see all previous Patreon only videos and you're ready to see the new Patreon only videos I'm also sending Christmas cards to all my Patreons so make sure you check it out it's on the iCard up there and in the description down below so yeah, today I am talking about my self-harm story let's get on with the video So yeah, let's get started. My self-harm story starts when I was about five, six, seven-ish. I can't remember exactly how old I was, but I think it, I was around seven. I basically used to self-harm on my chest. I've got scars that go down like, my chest from where I used to self-harm that. I did it on my chest because I didn't want, I wanted it to be hidden. I didn't want anyone to know I was doing it. Because you know, even then I knew it was a secretive thing, but it didn't seem wrong to me, it just seemed like a way of coping. Now what was I coping with at such a young age? Abuse. I spoke about this in another video and I'll say it again now but I want to put a message with this as well. My mum used to abuse me when I was younger and we've since spoke about it and we're both happy with our relationship now and we're moving forward and Generally, I think I think we're in the right place now. I want to point out she's never hurt my other sisters. It has only ever been me, and yeah, I love my mom. But yeah, I was self harming at the age of seven, and it wasn't good. It was kind of dangerous actually while I was doing it, but it wasn't deep or anything. And I was now cutting has always been my my method of self-harm, I've never burnt myself, I've never pulled my hair out, I've never... That progressed onto my arms eventually when I started secondary school, was when I was 11. And I would... Basically I used to self-harm self across my arm. And... Everyone knew I was self-harming. I didn't hide it very well, I didn't cover it up because I didn't think it was anything, there was anything wrong with it. No one taught me any different. I wasn't, I wasn't brought up knowing about mental health and mental illness. I happened upon it when I got sectioned at 13. So yeah, my self-harm progressed as I got older. And we go to the, around the time I was 18, I was self-harming every day. And my best friend at the time was also self-harming. Uh, as well. Fucking took me long enough to get that out, didn't it? But honestly, my self harm wasn't serious. It was it was just when I moved to Lancashire. Now, my self harm was the same. I did stop for around a year. Then I found a blade in a nightclub and I cut across my neck in an attempt to kill myself. Now I'm not saying self-harm leads to suicide or suicidal thoughts and no I don't mean that if someone's self-harming they're suicidal. That's a big misconception. It just so happens I was suicidal and I had access to a blade. I don't know where it came from, it wasn't clean and I was drunk. Drunk me makes the best decisions. Not. But yeah. When I moved to London is when it got, got serious. So there was one night I was in my in my bedroom in the flat and I I cut all across that down and like that across both sides of my neck. The police turned up at my front door. I don't know why or who called them or what was going on, but they came in and they said you need to come to a hospital. They called paramedics. Paramedics agreed I needed to go to the hospital because I'd, I'm, I'd cut a vein. 
I went to hospital very reluctantly and I was hospitalised. First of all they put me in a seclusion room which if you've been on my channel long enough you would have seen that video. If you haven't seen that video I will try and remember to link it on the iCard. Don't hold me to it though. So then I moved to Kingston. The police turned up at my flat and they sectioned me under section 135 of the mental health act which is move mentally disordered person from private premises with warrant. Um, they took me to hospital because I was bleeding and when I was in hospital I had a blade in my bag so I got it out of my bag sat on the floor and that's when I did the one that goes underneath my tattoo basically the big major scars I had tattooed over the last year uh, where my deeper self-harm was now I didn't completely stop after that but it was a lot less I was, I was sectioned on section 2 of the mental health act um, that was an admission I had my phone taken off me because I filmed a YouTube video in my bedroom I don't know why that hospital was so against it, it's not like they had mice or anything. Oh wait, they did. My self-harm kind of stopped when I had my last admission. I basically used my nails and scratched my skin and it bled out and from there they, they cut my nails, which I like having long nails. A year, nine months, 19 days ago. I stopped self-harming. Thank you for watching this video and if you're new, subscribe. Peace.